These days, test equipment comprises an LCD display or screen, a little bit of electronics, and a couple of probes. Pretty simple and amazingly multifunctional. That wasn't always the case, at least with equipment that you could afford. I built a lot of my own test equipment, and in this video I'll talk about an inductance measuring instrument that proved very useful. Being able to measure inductance is important for radio experimenters, and particularly for that application, you need to go down to small values of less than a microhenry. So how does this thing actually work? The plain box where the labels have rubbed off don't give very many clues. The connections for the unknown inductance are these alligator clips. This is a DC power input socket, and here is a BNC socket, which provides RF output that goes to the multimeter. In this case, used to measure the output frequency from this. This is a look inside. There's very little to it. All it is, is an RF oscillator, whose frequency varies according to the unknown inductor you put in. There are two transistors. One is for an RF oscillator, the other for the buffer, and the output of that goes to the socket where you measure it on a multimeter on its frequency range. Multimeters like these often measured voltage, current, resistance, and if you're lucky, capacitance and frequency as well. Because the multimeter can only measure in frequency up to a maximum of 4 MHz, there are series inductors here, the RF chokes, that mean that even if you've only got a very small inductance, that's your unknown that you're trying to measure, then the maximum frequency you get will be a bit below 4 MHz. Of course, as you go to bigger inductors, your frequency will drop. Looking at the chart, as you can see, as the inductance goes up, the frequency output drops. I was able to measure down to fractions of a microhenry. It's got quite a good inductance measuring range. Even up to over one millihenry. Let's see if it still works. Here's an inductor, an RF choke, which I haven't looked at the bands to see what it is. We'll just put it in. We need a power source. This is a bit more modern than the inductance measuring instrument. And we've got our multimeter set up to the kilohertz range. Our black, our red. 2569 kilohertz. If you didn't have a digital frequency meter or multimeter with a frequency function, then you could just feed its output to a calibrated receiver. It just needs to cover frequencies below 4 MHz. Once you know the output frequency, you could either use the formula or a lookup table and work out the unknown inductance's value. Looking at our table, 2569. There's a 2585 there, and that corresponds to 10 microhenry. And if we look at the color coding on the inductor, 10 microhenry, that's exactly what it is. So after nearly 25 years, this crude two transistor instrument is still serviceable. There's no reason why you can't build one of these today. All components are still readily available. You can use any small signal NPN transistors for the oscillator and the buffer. This is a close up of the oscillator circuit. The 10 microhenries in series with LX, the inductor under test, means that no matter what you've got on it, the frequency will be no higher than 4 MHz. That suits the limitations of the multimeter that I'm using to measure the output frequency. The oscillator is just a very standard culprits oscillator circuit. And the buffer stage here just provides some isolation. 
So that means that when you connect the multimeter, you don't pull the frequency, which would be the case if you were not using the buffer stage. In my notes, I've got a whole lot of formulas to calculate the inductance from the frequency output. But most of the time, I didn't need to use those. Instead, I just used a lookup table. Despite its crudeness, building equipment like this can be useful in helping to explain the basics of electronics and test equipment, something that the latest gear doesn't do so well because everything is done for you. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do more videos on primitive electronic test equipment.